This is no fort in Weymouth. It's blessed with some fantastic views of Dorset's Jurassic Coast. But that's not what we're here to see. Believe it or not, the view down here is even better. Take a look at this. Ships. As many as you could possibly comprehend. All built by one man, Philip Warren. He spent 70 years building these Royal Navy ships. In fact, Philip's proud of the fact that he's built at least one from each class serving from 1945 right through to today. Here's Philip's HMS Queen Elizabeth, built in just three months and ready before the original. The last steam-powered Royal Navy ship, the landing platform dock, HMS Fearless. And bang up to date, HMS Fourth, the Royal Navy's newest ship. And here's the Batch 2 River Class for real. It's a labour of love. So how did it all start? I happened to be fascinated with warships, possibly because I was a child during the Second World War. Our whole world was ships and tanks and planes and uh, our aircraft recognition was excellent and we knew all about the Royal Navy's ships, of course. So after the war in 1948, I finally achieved my desire to build a model warship. And uh, I thought at the time it would probably be just the one and get it out of my system, but uh, that hasn't actually worked. No, it's not. There are over 480 ships and counting. Philip's been displaying his collection for 50 years and shows no sign of slowing down. He's in the middle of a three-week stint here at the fort with plenty of people having a look today. It's incredibly important to us. It draws both locals and um, enthusiasts that come from quite far away. It really engages with all the visitors, whether they've come specifically to see the exhibition or whether they've come for a general visit. This is my tool kit that I've done it all with. So I take the paper off of these old fashioned wooden matchboxes and I finish up with these two pieces of wood, obviously matchsticks themselves. I build a framework of matches and then this wood becomes the decks, the sides and all of the superstructure of the ships themselves. Some of this very fine stuff is in fact match wood carved up as fine as that and then I can build structures like that. Philip's still modelling and plans to continue adding to his matchstick navy. <laughs>